Hello, welcome back. Um, this is a end of the month report that I have been doing every month since like February, and it's September. And I can so halfway through the month, I was kind of already figuring out this isn't the best, and I don't know wh how badly I've done this month, but. I think September is going to be a low one. And it's really annoying because, like, I put in so much effort at the end of August and beginning of September. I put, I was listing like a maniac. I really was, and I was doing all these different things. To be fair, that was at the end of August, beginning of September. And I did have a lot on. I had, like, several things that I was doing. And, yeah, there was a... I was meant to take a, a, like a, a good couple of weeks out, so there's a lot of extenuating circumstances <laughs> that stopped me from like putting eBay as a primary focus. But I do think that I've worked hard. <laughs> uh, but yeah, proof's in the pudding at the end of the day, and I don't think I've done amazingly well. I have made sales though, so that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go over like my stats and a load of sales, and yeah, as ever, these are like guesstimations. Um, as close as I can guesstimate. <laughs> um, and they're not all of them. I had a lot, a lot of low value items out the door uh, that I can remember. And these are just some of the goodies, I think. Okie dokie. So um, I got the, um, it's like a David Beckham doll, basically. <laughs> and I did pay up for it. I probably made a mistake, uh, but I put it on for super high and I did get an offer. So I've made a little bit of money on that, which is good. Uh, the cowboy hat is a woody hat. I always pick these up if they're less than a quid. This was actually free. They just threw it and said, oh, you can have that. And uh, yeah, it's one of the things that gets lost a lot. And I've sold about probably about five or six of these. Uh, the Barney just was at a car boot fodder, really, 50p. I always try and pick up vintage Barney. And uh, it stuck around for a bit, but it has sold for 38 pound and 50p. Okay, so this one um, on the left, this is actually like a nightlight and it glows different colours and everything. It's called Math Moss. I knew the brand and I knew that they did lava lamps, uh, but I got it at Stafford Carbu um, from a really nice couple and yeah, for £1.50 and thank God it worked when I got home. Um, the little beaver thing, that's from, I think it's from Over the Hedge and it was 50p. Um, yeah, that was, that was just, you know, fodder and then I find out it's worth like quite a bit of money. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it's rare, I don't know if they only did a limited run, but sold for 3380 uh, The On the right, that's actually an Adidas vintage, like a velour zip top, and uh, I got it for £8, I think it was £8, um, or it might have been 10 I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, so but it sold for £48.24. These are kind of recent pickups actually, um, and they're all from the same person. Uh, I usually go to her stall and she always does immediately like crazy deals uh, because I'd never, I'd never haggle and I just pick up stuff and yeah, so they were all basically 20p each and you can see uh, the Game of Thrones Wolf, I've sold that before, also from the same buyer, uh, except it was three for a pound at that time, so it was the first one was 33p. Yeah, but this was worked out at 20p, sold for 23.80. The Donald Duck that sold really quick, I think it's because it's Halloween. Um, it was uh, 20p and it sold for 23.50. I took an offer of that, I put it up for 25 and they, they offered me 20, and I was like, yeah, that's fine. Um, and the little Fisher Price, like t little people, they're like vintage little cars. Um, yeah, they were in a little baggy and they were 20p and yeah, ended up selling for £17.63. Okay, so um, Beautiful Katamari, that's a, a, a Xbox 360 title, I got that in Wales. And yeah, 150 into 1550, which is good. By the way, these are all inclusive of the postage. So the amount that you see in it does actually include the postage. Um, yeah, the Lynx uh, Africa, it's one of the newer kind of iterations of Africa. But I only got it for a pound and it sold for uh, altogether £21.85. Um, the 50p uh, key ring that I got, this um, uh, South Park, sold for £23.50. I got a bundle of these and it's the, I think there's one left now. <laughs> okay, possibly my favourite thing to pick up if they're cheap enough are these mini lampshades. I'm addicted to buying up these little mini lampshades. I just do so well out of them and I don't know why. Um, yeah, I'm on a roll with them. I hope I hope it never stops. 
uh, but I think got these for a pound or that's how much they kind of buy about rounded it up to and they've sold for 23.70 the figure I put it at 50p um, but it's kind of like it was in a bundle and I've had it for ages and so it's technically it's free it was, it was one of mine I put it on display and everything it's from Metal Gear Solid the video game and that sold for 17.50 he doesn't actually have these good he has a gun and a sword he doesn't have that um, the uh, pink shorts are from Folk and I think I paid either 12 or 13 pound for them I can't remember but yeah they ended up selling pretty quickly uh, yeah, the uh, game on the right, got that at Stafford, £1.50, flipped that pretty quickly into 25 50 that was at the beginning of the month. Uh, the candlesticks have stuck around for a bit, I've kind of, uh, they're Royal Dalton and they were new, um, and they have gone for 2 99 I was like, okay, thank you very much. Yeah, they flipped, um, pretty nice, 22 50 the uh, Mickey doll, um, this was a really bad photo. I literally, you know when like you just like, you can't be bothered doing anything, you just thought, I'll take a picture, blah, 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 done. And it was literally on the floor and it just looked horrific. I, I, my pictures are usually a lot better than that. <laughs> but that ended up flipping pretty nicely for 28.18. Okay, these are like the jackets. People are obviously getting ready for autumn. Um, the Laura Ashley red kind of like trench coat, like wool trench coat. I got that on on the offer. They were all the coats were like three pound ten. Sorry, it's meant to say ten, uh, three pound ten. Um, and yeah, but it ended up selling with postage to uh, thirty four pounds. So that's nice. Uh, the um, uh, Man United Nike jacket that went to Italy. They were dead uh, nice. Uh, I put it. I put it up for fifty five, and I got an offer of like I think it was like forty five. So I was like, yeah, that's fine. Um, flip that. Um, that other one on the right is a Paul and Shark. Got it from Le Paul and Shark Yachting. And I got it for a quid. And I wasn't sure at first. But I thought, no, it's really nice. It's like, I think it was like 2XL. And uh, yeah, I got it for a pound. And it, yeah, just put it up for 45. Got enough for a 40. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. A plus 380 postage. Yeah, pretty nice. I love those kind of flips where they, like, they happen really quickly. <laughs> okay, this is my Belgium um, kind of flips uh, that I've uh, sold in the month. As you can see, they're kind of insane. Um... The two tops, the Iron Maiden and the orange one, I, they were 17 euro. So I'm kind of figuring out, I think it's about 15 pound there that I paid. And I thought I'd overpaid for them. But no, I thought I'll be bold and put them up quite high. Um, I've forgotten the Swedish brand. It's like Fodrels. I'll, I'll try and find it. But like, it's like, it's a weird kind of like brand. <laughs> uh, anywho, yeah, 54.50 and the Iron Maiden. I think that's rare because it's from like 2008, but it's also got long sleeve and most t shirts are like long, uh, like short sleeve. Um, Scotch and Soda. I uh, got it from the market <laughs> when the first day I was there. And that sold pretty nicely. Yeah, these mugs. Oh, right, so Oliver and Company. I got it in Emmaus, and I, I thought I did a check on the comps, and I thought I think one of them had sold for like nine ninety nine. Anyway, it's been on my shelf for ages, and I just thought, oh, I'll put it up, and there was none up. I tried to find comps, there was none up, so I thought, no, you know what? I'm going to go a bit brave. I put it up for twenty two pound, or was it twenty three pound, something like that. Anyway, it ended up selling like within like a couple of days for twenty seven pound nineteen. Madness. Um, the uh, Royal Navy Cup is actually a Danone mug, and, and I got that at the car boot. I paid up a little bit for four pound. Um, I swear, if I go over a quid, I'm like, oh my god. Um, yeah, so four pound, and that flipped into thirty nine pound eighty. It just shows you if you know the brand and you know what sells, you know paying that little bit extra can actually yield a bigger profit um again these little lampshades amazing I've, I've just round them up to a pound now i think these are actually cheaper um yeah i got flipped them i put them up for 19.99 accepted an offer of 15 with 450 postage and boom all done packed it and sent it off uh, yeah, these are all car boots. Um, you might know the uh, middle one that's the Smiler uh, roller coaster from Old Towers. It worked, it was £2 and it flipped for £33.50. Uh, Moz was a pretty recent one. I got that at Adam's car boot. Uh, got it for a quid and flipped for £18.50 off to, I think it's America. Um, Maleficent, uh, yeah, she was £3. It might be the most like. I paid for it like a doll, but yeah, three pound, and it flipped into fifteen fifty. 
Okay, the shoes are actually Lokes. Um, they were six pound. I was quite surprised they sold quite quickly because the wear underneath them were a bit kind of, mm. so then I was like, oh, have I sold, have I undersold them? And I was like, no, it's fine. Don't look into it. <laughs> I did my checks and everything's good. Um, six pound into 31.40 is livable. I'm fine with that. Um, that uh, umbrella is Nuage or New Age or whatever it's called. I forgot, it's N-U-A-G-E. I forgot, it's a pronunciation thing. Um, I got a few of these and this is like the last one to sell and I think I worked out they were like five pound each um, but yeah uh, 27 pound and 7p which is nice um, the is it Flarden I think it's Flarden I think this is like a a European a fishing like jacket and it's like really nice wet weather wear um, if you're fishing and I, could, I think I got it for eight pound again I think it's either eight or ten I can't imagine I went to ten on this but yeah I ended up selling 34 80. Okay, these Kellogg's mugs, I try and get them. If they're like 50p or below, I always try and get them. I got loads off this one woman and she like charged me like a, I think she charged me like a fiver and there was something like 15 of them. Anyway, yeah, so this is like the next bunch to go. Um, one pound into, I, I kind of worked out they were like 50p each. Uh, one pound into 22.50. The D squared Milano um, is... That was at a car boot, and I, I think she she knew what she had, but I was just like, oh, five is still pretty good. Uh, and I checked all the things, yeah, it was fine. Uh, it did have a mark on it, though, which was kind of like, Ugh. it's one of those really faint marks, so it, they'll still be, like, picking your house over. So I was like, oh, God. So, but yeah, I sent it off, 44 98 and I got positive feedback, which is good. And, oh, my Nutri Bullet, that sold. It was brand new from a charity shop, Scope, um, £8. I got it for me, but because when I found it, it was brand new, I was like, oh, I'm going to have to sell it. And it sold for £50.85. And last but not least is this uh, slide. It's Atmosphere, the game. I went into a really expensive charity shop and this was actually there for a five. I was like, oh, that's surprising. Um, £5.25, easy. Uh, the Wings game, the W-I-N-X um, Konami game. Um, yeah, I think it, I don't know if it's like a knock-on from the TV series because the TV series got cancelled. Um pretty recently on netflix but it was kind of like a favorite anyway it sold for 48.50 i think it spiked in value while it was still on uh the final fantasy game um this one it, it said it was seven pound i got it from the car boot but the same person who sold the maleficent doll he charged me only two pound for it i was like okay fine fair enough uh anyway that sold for 16 pounds okay so yeah this is a bit I, okay i try and do the dailies so i can kind of discern some sort of like pattern but there is no pattern it just is all over the place um but the very first day of the month was insane i made 200 like 75 80 pounds something like that and every friday it looks like friday was my best day because i was earning over like 100 pound in each day but this day this was kind of like my first no like donut day uh, like not donut day but donut like month and I had um on the Monday I had a zero sale day not just on eBay but across the board I sold nothing which is the first time that's ever happened in since coming back I think the last time it happened was when I first started so it was kind of annoying but look at this dip it's just so depressing I'm like oh and my average is at the end here. Just, okay, so look at the four, first four bars. The, the the fifth bar is like the fifth week, but it only had like two or three days in it. So it's like, mm, it doesn't really count. But if you extrapolate it, it kind of looks like it's around £90. And that's kind of right. I mean, on average, I'm averaging about £90. Um, like per, per day, basically. And that's like okay i get it it's it's still pretty good but it's 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 not what i want i wanted like you know i i need i basically i need to be hitting 100 pound a day that's kind of like my thing um like the other months i was hitting like 120 100 day i was like yes that's really good and it's kind of just gone down a bit so this is what i mean when i like at the beginning when i said oh i kind of sense it was going down like it wasn't going to be a good month uh but yeah i want to show you some more slides and uh, we'll do like an overview. Okay, so this kind of like blows my theory out of the water last month where I said like, oh look, I'm going up and then I'm going down and then I'm going up and then I'm going down and then I'm going up and then I'm going down. Well, I've gone down <laughs> again. I haven't gone up. All that work that I put in at the end of August has just kind of gone wah, wah. 
and yeah i think to be fair i had i have had a lot on in september there's been a lot of unexpected things there's been a lot of like things taking me away from ebay so yeah i get it i've still worked though i've still been listing new items and everything and you know hitting my targets so yeah okay this is just a druggy memory on august um particularly like the items sold 134 the turnover was uh 3186 uh, ASP, that's an interesting one, £23.86, and the net profit was just short of two grand. Uh, so let's just fast track to September. And yeah, so my uh, item sales is 132. So it's only two less than August. But when you look at the turnover, £2,862.72p, that is a massive difference. And I think it's because, like, just because of the same volume, the september average sale price which has gone down by like a few pound 21 pound 98 i had a lot of low value items but then i had about probably about two dozen quite high value quite val quite high value items so in the 40s and 50s and that's that's kind of i thought my asp was going to go like into the teens again but it's actually only dropped by about two quid and i think it's because i've sold like a large bulk of low value but i've also sold a small quantity of quite high value if you, if you get my drift so it's kind of made up that like difference but my net profit 1609 um 1690 and when you think like i've got bills to pay and like <laughs> a few hundred of that is like reselling really and i'm like oh my god it's been a bit of a dire month. I mean, my net profit last month uh, was like 1921. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have to get, it's going to go up. Because like, I'm used to my net profit being about two grand. So this has been like, almost like, like being as low as it's been in the past. I think this is the third lowest month so far. It's kind of depressing. In fact, actually, let's look at the next slide. Uh, yeah, so look at that. I mean, it's just short. It's just a little bit higher than February. And there's more days in September. Oh my God, that's atrocious. And like April was the worst, but like it's only 90 quid off April. I mean, pfft, what's that about? Um, I just really want to get back to the 2000 <laughs> range. I really do. I've got, I, I, I desperately need to get back to the 2000 range. And hopefully, I want. I, I really want to bust May's, um, what's it, May's like total. Like 2400 is good, obviously, but like, I think, like, October, November, I can really smash it. I can really smash it. I really hope I can. <laughs> but, yeah, that's basically everything. Um, uh, how have your sales been? Have you noticed any patterns? Because I, I, I thought I had patterns, and then all of a sudden they were just, like, just exploded out of existence. I was just like, oh, God. So, yeah, uh, that's everything, and I'm going to leave it there because I'm just, I better get on with my work and list. <laughs> Uh, but thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.